hi so we have one more problem based on combinations and actually in this problem we are going to use permutations also so let's read the problem statement problem statement says find the number of ways of seating 10 persons out of 25 persons around a circular table and the others around another table so what we have to do first thing we have to do is we have to select 10 people out of 25 and second thing is seat these 10 people around a table it's a round table right and then we have to do one more thing what we have to do we have to arrange or seat the remaining people which is 25 minus 10 15 people around another table so we have to do these three tasks and there is an and between them that means we have to multiply all the results which we get while performing the first task the second task and the third task right so the first is select 10 people out of 25 the number of ways in which we can select 10 people out of 25 is 25 c 10 and seat these 10 people around a table the number of ways in which these 10 people can occupy the space around a table is actually 10 minus 1 factorial this we have learnt in the video in which I am explaining the calculations of permutations in which the objects are arranged in a circle right so there will be total 10 minus 1 factorial ways in which these selected 10 people can occupy the positions around a round table right why is this 10 minus 1 this comes because we actually discount the arrangements which we can achieve by rotating one particular arrangement for details you can watch that video and the link to that video is given in the description so click there and watch that video which explains the arrangements around a circular table and similarly these 15 people can be arranged in 15 minus 1 factorial ways and we have to perform all these steps one by one that means the total number of ways in which 10 persons out of 25 can sit around a circular table and rest of them can sit around the second circular table will actually be equal to 25 c 10 multiplied by 9 factorial 10 minus 1 is 9 factorial multiplied by 15 minus 1 that is 14 factorial this will be a big number it can be calculated so this is all for the problems based on combinations and after this, we'll be going back to probability. So keep watching MathSmart and bye-bye till then.